What is up guys, Team Yugi Fails, and today I'm coming at you with another deck profile. This is the uh, second time that I'm uploading this video today because the first time, for whatever reason, it uh, rendered it in uh, in 360p, which makes no sense. Um, it should not have done that, and, and the video just was not playing in anything above that. I was extremely confused, uh, and I opted to take it down and re-record and now re-upload. Uh, that being said, I have a Zodiac deck profile for you. Uh, it is slightly different than the, um, the deck profile from the PPG this weekend. That was a pure Zodiac list that was being played, and mine is uh, the Dogmatica variant that is updated uh, with the release of Phantom Rage. I think that overall this deck has a pretty good amount of potential going forwards. I think the level of skill that's involved in it can be variable. Um, I find that a lot of people kind of struggle a little bit with learning the intricacies of the deck and that it's very easy to learn the basics, but the complex plays get a little trickier for people. But that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hop into this uh, and not waste anyone's time. So. I am playing three Zodiac Thoroughblade. I also apologize if you can see down here, there's like this shadow thing here. Uh, that's actually my my tripod. Uh, for whatever reason, the lighting that I am using is catching that shadow. It doesn't really impact anything um, unless you're really, really like bugged by a shadow. But that doesn't really bug me too much. Um, but three Zodiac Thoroughblade. Thoroughblade is your drawer of the deck and uh, helps you do some pretty neat and wonky stuff like start off with your combos. Then we have three Zodiac Whiptail. Whiptail banishes your opponent's monsters, which is pretty crazy in theory. And uh, this helps you go off with a lot of really cool Zeus plays where you don't have to use an extra summon, which is very important. Then we play three Ram Ram. Uh, Ram Ram really gives you that recursion for your combos, which is ridiculously important. I think that Ram Ram is definitely uh, one of the most important Zodiac cards to play uh, at three, especially. And then we play the one wrap here. Uh, this is just a one card combo realistically then i play one ecclesia and one flordellis i don't think you need to play any more than this uh, i think that the lineup is perfectly fine having just one and one it uh it's good but it's just there's kind of like a, a backup engine and a little extra in case you do your regular combo and you happen to see the other pieces as well moving on to hand traps we have three nib three ash and three valor i think this is probably the most uh standard hand trap lineup for monsters currently i think that gamma although it's good is not good in decks that uh don't play like helga fiberx and uh considering i'm not playing it i figure why bother playing the uh the gamma moving on to the spells though we have three deer servant three tanky and one barrage these are kind of your, your core engine cards for your archetypes that are being played. You want to be able to search cards, special summon cards, and give slight attack boosts to some of your monsters, and all of those cards accomplish that. Then for the pots, we have two Desires and two Avarice. Um, I didn't have, want to play a third Desires. Like I, I just felt that there was other cards uh, to play ratio-wise that worked out better, and I think double Avarice is kind of standard in Zoo, to be honest. Then for the other one of, I play one Feather Duster and one Called By. The Called By uh, definitely can be interchangeable with other cards, whatever you feel is necessary, uh, i.e. Monster Reborn. Uh, then the Feather Duster I think is necessary. You have to have some back row removal, and I didn't want to main deck Cosmics. Then moving on to the traps, I have three Imperms. So that basically gives us 12 hand traps, uh, which secures uh, most likely we'll see one in our opening hand, which is exactly what we want. But seeing two is even better, but which you still have a decent chance there. Then I play two strike and one punishment. Um, the pure list from the PPG was playing three strike, but seeing I am playing the Dogmatica cards, I opted to cut one strike out for punishment. Uh, and I think it's definitely the best decision possible. It definitely comes up and uh, comes in handy. That is the main deck, though. It should be 40 cards exact. I didn't want to play more than 40. I feel like most of the time with Zoo, you just want to play 40 cards uh, and not really budge from that because if you budge from it, you start to get a little inconsistent, and that was the complete opposite of what I was looking for. That being said, though, let's hop into our extra deck.
Uh, extra deck, there are some things that I might change. Uh, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I am contemplating it currently. So I have one Hammer Kong and two Borbo. I think that this is uh, pretty solid. The, the Hammer Kong you could play a third of. It's kind of up to player preference. I like playing two or playing one, um, but I might bump it up to two just to test it. And then if I don't like it at two, I'll bump it back to one. Then I play two Tiger Mortar. Uh, double Tiger Mortar is pretty darn important. I think this card is just overall uh, ridiculous, being able to reattach cards, like especially Whip Tail from your graveyard to one of your Zodiac Monsters is absolutely nuts. Then I play three Chocanine. You can cut one of these down for another Hammer Kong if you wanna play two Hammer Kong. I just like Chocanine. I think it's the most important out of all the Zodiac Monsters. Uh, and then of course we play the one Dryden. That's just, um, kind of standard. I, I shouldn't really have to explain that. Then for our other Xyz cards, we play the Drill Driver, and then we play the Zeus. Um, I might play a second one of this, depending. Um, I, I do want it. I need to get a second one. I just don't know if I'm going to play it yet. Um, but playing one is definitely a necessity. You can play a second if you want. And one of the cards that I would probably cut down to one in order to do that is Mega Clops. Granted, I think this card is absolutely crazy in this deck, being able to completely just lock your opponent out uh, from affecting it outside of Spell Traps and Xyz Monsters. Um, all other monsters aren't going to do anything to it, which is crazy. And being able to basically summon a Dryden from your graveyard and then equip one of your opponent's cards to it is crazy too. Um, but I might cut it down to one just to play the second Zeus because Zeus is super strong, super, super strong. And then for the Dogmatica cards uh, that are important, we just play an Entus and an Ash Dragon. Typically, you send the Ash Dragon off. Of, so if you open up like Nadir Servant, um, you have basically the combo that you're looking for because you do Nadir Servant and you send the Ash Dragon. You search the Ecclesia. You summon the Ecclesia, which then searches for punishment. And at the end phase, uh, your Ash Dragon will add the uh, Fordellus. And then you have your, your two interruptions um, or possibly three because you're sending the Entus off of punishment, depending on how you want to look at it. Technically, it's two cards with two interruptions but uh three cards that are being disrupted that is the extra deck though we're going to hop on over to the side deck like i said the uh the extra deck i'd probably cut down one mega clops for a second zeus if anything and then if you wanted to cut the, the third chaka nine for a second hammer kong you can uh i just prefer playing three chaka nine i think the card is super strong uh but like I said, we will move on over to the side deck now. Side deck is uh, fairly similar to the PPG one. It, honestly, the PPG side deck, that is something that looks very similar to a lot of my side decks. <laughs> if you keep up with my channel and you follow most of the content, you probably saw it and were like, whoa, wait a second, that looks uh, like it's pretty similar. Um, so it, it's pretty, pretty cool, but I definitely uh, agree with most of the choices. I did change one up because I... I had a pretty good idea with this deck uh, that I thought was solid, but I'll go over it anyways. We have three Lancey and three Droll. I always explain to everyone that these cards are very important. Um, it's just such a good combination of cards to have that, you know, against most of your matchups, you're going to be able to either completely cut your opponent off from playing or at least slow them down enough to where you can gain advantage. And I think that's very important. That's what the hand traps are there for. Then we have three Dark Ruler No More. This is pretty standard in most side decks to be honest i mean you could play droplet if you wanted to but i think overall that uh this is significantly better because it shuts down your whole, your opponent's whole board and uh completely locks them out from basically doing anything for that turn which is crazy the only disadvantage is you don't hit for damage which is okay um it's not the end of the world your deck can kind of just set up a bunch of uh interruptions and make it so your opponent can't play which is pretty cool so dark rule is very very important then I opted to play two Lightning Storms. Um, I know the PPG list played three. I don't have a third, and I did not want to uh, side deck the Feather Duster either. I wanted to have the Feather Duster in the main deck. I also didn't want to play Cosmics. I think Cosmic is good, but it, the space, like space-wise, there's just no room in this deck to do so um, unless you like go over to a pure build. Um, that or you cut out like an effect, one effect Valor and called by and you play two Cosmic, but I don't think that's worth it. Um, I think you're better off cutting just the called by for a monster reborn if you're going to do anything. Um, but that being said, I wanted to play two Lightning Storms still. I thought it was very, very important to back row and uh, being able to just out that because back row is a problem for this deck. It's the only thing that really hurts it primarily. Um, but to help kind of supplement things, I obviously went with the triple evenly as well i felt that the triple evenly was 
pretty important, especially against Eldritch. Being able to banish all of their back row is kind of good, um, or at least, you know, most of their back row and then them leaving one. Um, I thought that Evenly was a, a very good choice. And then the last card that I play, most people would think that it's Pankertops because I always put Pankertops in my side deck. Uh, surprise, it is actually not Pankertops this time. Uh, it is actually, ironically enough, Red Reboot. So I know some people are going to be like, wow, Red Reboot, you're paying like half your life points just to like let your opponent set another card. Um, which is fine. You Red Reboot them, and then you go main phase two, make a Zeus after attacking, and then you just send all of their back row to the graveyard. And they don't have any back row anymore. Uh, so Red Reboot is super crazy this card is it's just fantastic absolutely fantastic i love this card um it, it's worth put paying half your life points because your points back row is gone uh and whatever monsters they have on the field are gone too so that's uh kind of the benefit to it in this deck but that is the zodiac uh dogmatica deck profile basically because that rounds up everything with the uh the main side and extra and uh kind of showcasing this deck how i'm playing it now what my thoughts and opinions were on it i hope it was uh, at least semi-informative i i feel like that uh this deck is going to be very popular going forwards uh post phantom rage i think that in addition to that um i think i have the prank kid stuff on the way to the the link ones um so i might post the prank kids deck profile within the next week or two uh depending on how everything goes as you guys some of you may know i do balance uh posting videos between work and school so it is uh sometimes hectic to do so but i will do my best to continue pumping out content to the best of my ability but i hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile if you did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up per usual it is significantly appreciated you guys have done a fantastic job of uh, getting me over 500 subscribers I think as I'm recording, we're at like 510 or 511. Uh, so I'm very appreciative for that. And once again, I thank every single one of you who has subscribed and continues to watch the content. Uh, it is very, very fun to do this and have a nice community growing. But give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below to let me know what you think. And for right now, this is Team Feels signing out.